Okay, Happy Garage. I, uh, I gotta work on these sub $3,000 car. You know, who knew at 180,000 miles things would go wrong? Just one of the mysteries of life, I guess. So, uh, you know, I, I just spent like an hour and a half in traffic. Hour and 15 minutes. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna do a video, but I thought I'm gonna rant, uh, while I put uh, spark plugs and coils in this car so yeah I'll get on get you on the stand get a, a good angle and uh, work on this kind of rant a little bit and um, let you you know give you a play-by-play -play of what I'm doing all right so I forgot to uh, connect uh, my microphone and test it before I started so we're just gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna take off this uh, engine cover. This has just got some rubber clips. Sometimes they're easier than others. You just want to pull those straight up. Straight. Like as straight as you can. If you can get the feel where they are, uh, straight up. As close to the, uh, the grommet as you can get. Well, you gotta get the ignition coils off, and uh, yeah, I brought this home. So hopefully it is strong enough to uh, remove the 10 millimeter screws from the ignition coils without uh, breaking again. That's, that's a bit harsh. It, it wasn't a 10 millimeter uh, bolt that broke it initially. I believe it was a 17 millimeter. So, you know, not, not a s small bolt, but I don't feel like it was a large amount of torque. I put my Milwaukee's through similar torque and uh, it didn't break, causing me to be out of a ratchet for like four to six weeks. Is that not plugged in? All right, so what I did have, I know I didn't go through the diagnostic procedure with y'all, but uh, yeah, last night I was informed that uh, the car was acting funny and I got a, a misfire code. And yada, 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 you know, I, I, I danced the uh, ignition coils around. Watch the misfire move. You can do that um, on some scan data. Or, uh, in this case, you can unplug injectors. Um, if you have a thermal imager, you can shoot at the uh, exhaust and see which exhaust is cold. Uh, there's several different ways. Um, or you can just, um, if you only have a, a code reader, it, this could be bad. Um, actually, a code reader might be able to do it. So, uh, if you have a code reader, you're, you you want to use the... Uh, mode 6. It's like a hexadecimal something or another. Uh, either way, it's mode and then there's a dollar symbol and a zero six. Uh, so you enter that and you look at your misfires and you kind of see which one was and which one is. It's not live data, so you will have to run the car for a little bit, but it's something. Like I said, these are 10 millimeter screws. Make sure we're going backwards. If you are a do-it-yourselfer and you like what just happened there, um, find one of these. I've heard the Hercules aren't terrible they don't look bad um, and for do-it-yourselfers these are uh, these are great they're they're not the the strongest 
and the fastest, but it, it beats manually uh, turning screws. Which is, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of not manually turning screws if I don't have to. Then you see number one, uh, it's all oily. I do have a valve cover gasket. Could I do a video? I suppose. Um, will I? Probably not. Um, but I am going to replace that gasket. I want to make sure that these coils and uh, spark plugs fix the problem first before I dive in. No oil there. A little bit of oil. And there should be no oil but some tape on this one. Yes, there's still some tape. I tried. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was just arcing right through there. You can hear the arcing. Uh, in the car. It was crazy. Alright, so uh, we got that. Another thing, um, I know you don't have feel -o vision which is a good thing um, in many cases, but um, the, the engine is warm. Like, it's not blazing hot uh, and it's not cold. You don't want to remove uh, spark plugs from a, a stone cold engine. It's okay if it's warm. Uh, let's see. Ah, ah, ah. It's quite a gap on that. I think the spec is like uh, forty thousandths. That could be more than 40,000, so let's check. It's broken now. Is it more than 40 thousandths? Uh, not by much, but it is more. No, it, it is, it's more by a lot. That's like 50 thousandths. So if you have a manufacturer spec and they give you a between, go with the lower number. Uh, a lot of times, and I'll show you when I pull the new plugs, um, a lot of times the plugs you get from the store for sure, uh, not so much the dealer, but the store, Those plugs are pretty universally set, like, they'll be set to some obscure number that, uh, that may be, uh, for an engine that they sell, uh, the, like, the plugs will fit an engine and they sell the most of those, and that's what they are spec'd for. So always just check. Yeah, these are pretty wiped out. Got these Walmart uh, NGKs, and they sell these Walmart NGKs on Rock Auto. Uh, they're, it's, I believe it's the wrong application for them. I don't think they're bad. Um, this is just the wrong application. So, I got some Densos. Oh yeah, I was gonna rant uh, after this. Funny how content creation makes you forget about ranting. You got our beautiful plug. Ain't it purdy? Now, I don't know what that gap is, but it looks to be really, really large. So I wonder what these cars also. Uh, the, the Denso SXU 22HCR 11S. That's a mouthful right there. Uh, apparently Iridium. I do like a Denso plug. Nothing wrong with NGKs. Uh, that's that's a lot closer to 40 thou than the uh, than the old ones. 
I'm just going to tighten it up just a smidge. This normally takes a minute. Um, they make a better tool. I want it. I don't. I don't know where to get it other than Amazon. But uh, eventually, I will have it, and then I will demonstrate it. But I would like a better tool for this. If any of my uh, my tool distributors are, are watching, I pay for all my tools. I pay all my. Uh, my franchisees, yes, I, uh, I shop. Uh, where you, you're not supposed to shop on the truck happy garages, on the tool trucks, not supposed to, but I do. So they are a nice group of guys, and uh, occasionally they have quality tools. They always have quality tools. Just just like any other store there's going to have you going to have your quality tools and then uh, your um you know all right that's as close as I'm going to get so I'm going to continue that process uh before I come back all right so yeah I got them uh all the spark plugs pretty dead on 40 thou or uh 1.02 millimeter very good now I like I said I checked them all many most of them are like dead on like perfect uh, there's just just enough spark plugs I've done in my career that aren't perfect that make these a valuable tool because nobody wants to go uh, back in and and do spark a spark plug again because you didn't check uh, this engine not a big deal others a big deal uh, so here is uh, the part number this is uh, the one I brought home there's two of these yes yep blue point um, what I like about them is this hook end you don't do these spark plugs ah, they're all right there right in front of me these iridium tip platinum tip spark plugs the fine wire you don't check them uh, with that flat blade style or that disc that you get at the, the parts store. Um, don't use those. You will knock off the uh, little iridium tip. It's the tiniest thing, almost microscopic. Um, and those flat disc uh, gaffers will, will knock that off. Uh, this has a far less likely chance of knocking it off. The, the little hook. Um, I don't know if you've seen the the other little ring with the wire that would also be acceptable uh, but not the disc of uh, just a, a gradient um, gapping tool you don't don't use that for the, the unless you have like a, a 1968 Chevy or, or Ford small block or big block that takes the copper plug so just uh, find one of these here's a what is this part number FB301A um, and somebody go in the comments if they have the other one um, it's got the larger um, wires I just don't have it I don't use it a lot the 301A that's the one I use um, now I know I've got new um, got to put new spark plugs in to grab my highly calibrated um, torque wrench for spark plugs I always start spark plugs by hand I did a video a while back where you use a hose um, but as long as you can uh, start them by hand you'll be in good shape my highly calibrated uh, torque wrench is a clicker style uh, I know it doesn't look like one But I'll show you here in a minute, as soon as I got that finger tight. Uh, this is a, uh, a gear wrench. Uh, what? 87202. 
um, highly calibrated torque wrench uh, by me. So when you tighten these plugs that have the um, the little washer, that's a crush washer. Uh, so you're you want to feel that crush, and then the spark plug will do like a dead stop. That's about uh, 20 foot pounds, 20 newton meters rather. And click, there we go, perfect. So I'll just uh, repeat that and put the coils down. All right, I, I got all the spark plugs installed. The They were a uh, of the 5 8 variety. A lot of new cars that aren't electric and still have the ice. They have a um, like a 14 mil, 14 millimeter or 9 16 uh, some are 12 point, some are not. Uh, but this is a uh, this is a great little spark plug socket, a fantastic one. Uh, Gear wrench, I think Katie Two Tools has a, a similar thing. Uh, if you use a power tool like a impact on this, it it won't last. But this is several several years old, and the only power tool. Uh, I've used on it. You saw me use was the little battery ratchet, but here's the part number 80546 uh, That's that'll get you a great little spark plug uh, Socket as you can see it's a magnet one but used it for years um, I I have to do a video on this so I have two Milwaukee spark plug sockets, a 9 16 and a 14 millimeter. And the one thing I'm going to say about those Milwaukee spark plug sockets is um, you might uh, enjoy, you, you might feel better about taking a $10 bill and just um, releasing it from your window, your car window, as you drive down the road. Uh, that uh, may have more value in entertainment. Uh, than those actual sockets are so in the future I, I will let you know just how bad they are um, coils now gotta put coils on here we go uh, four brand new coils like I said I'm not Normally, okay, okay, I don't have anything here, so you could put a, a if you don't if you're not using new coils or if your new coils aren't lubricated, these ones look like maybe they have a dry lube on them, but what you need is a like a, a dielectric tune-up grease. You don't need very much, even if it's just one of those little packets that you get it on the shelf at the parts store. Um, that's that's plenty for four or six. Um, you don't need much. He's just a, a coating on the inside there where the the it touches the plug. Uh, just a thin coating. That's all you would need. But these are coming right back out. We're just gonna uh, verify that the car is fixed. Uh, and. These are the uh, the spark plug or the ignition coils that I used. Uh, Mando, huh? Uh, the main reason I use these is because of where they are made. You yeah, know, made in Korea. Uh, made in Korea, so it comes from the right part of the world. Now, just uh, plug everything in. You're right. You're watching. And uh, you're you're looking and you're seeing I am missing something. What is it I'm missing? Can can you guess before I even say it? I didn't I didn't screw down the coils. If you can unscrew the coils, uh, you can screw the coils. So um, here's the test rip, huh?
Looky there, looky there. There, it was a success. Uh, no more misfires. Car's fixed. I, I want to check one thing. So when I bought this car, I was informed that it it may use oil. And it might. Like, it's, it's a 2013. It's the, of the right era. Every car used oil in this era. In, in, you know, in this year range. Every single manufacturer. Didn't matter who. So... Uh, I'm not going to knock Kia on that. This is actually one of their better engines. It's not the stupid Theta engine that uh, just fails. I wrote up three of them this week at work. And uh, as my oil level. You know, being that I'm not level, uh, that's after a thousand miles. But the car isn't level. It's... Uh, it's tilted back a smidge so I think uh, I think the oil consumption is in acceptable range and uh, with that that'll be it happy garaging everyone